Well, you never want to lose any home games, but especially if it's uh, your last uh, uh, semester in the Farrell Center, you want you want to be really successful here. And obviously, the last game you definitely don't want to lose. But uh, uh, it's really exciting because uh, uh, we have a great uh, atmosphere here. But we're moving even to uh, a better venue and something that's hopefully going to help our team more. Uh, unfortunately, this year um, we won't have as so much practice time in there as as we as we'd like. And we will in the future, but uh, uh, again, um, wave of the future, great home court advantage, uh, fans on top of you. Uh, people are, are really going to be impressed with the, uh, the design technology and just how they've uh, put the pavilion together, and we can't wait for that. In the meantime, I uh, want to wanna end things right with the Ferrell Center. No, uh, uh, I'm sure we get closer to the last game, maybe. But uh, uh, right now, we got way too many practices and games ahead of us to to to, to get uh, uh, too sentimental. How did the uh, you know overseas trip go, Lance? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, what did you kind of most take out of that? Well, uh, uh, the reason you only get them one every four years, it's a big advantage. You get to uh, put in some offense, defense, uh, that extra. Uh, Practice time gives you a jump start on the year, but really the bonding and getting a chance to know your players uh, when you're uh, together on a trip like that, uh, uh, you're really able to uh, forge relationships and uh, do things that normally you're not able to do till you're in the middle of season when you're on road trips together. How excited are you to introduce these four new teams to the Big 12 this year and then one more of the year afterwards? Uh, <laughs> a lot of transition in the next two years, but uh, uh, we've had the best league in the country for a reason, and that's uh, top to bottom. There's no off nights, and with the teams that are coming in, it'll be the same thing. Uh, 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 the commissioner did a great job adding uh, quality teams that are that are that have good traditions in, in basketball and being in the Big 12. Uh, hopefully that even grows over the years. For, for you on that trip, obviously you all only got you know, so much court time. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think the ten practices before really helped with with that part of it, and um, really allowed people to get acclimated and allow us to see uh, some different things and try some different things. Uh, as far as um, this this new group, uh, like most coaches right now, everybody really is excited about their team because you haven't lost a game yet. So. Uh, um, there's a lot of positivity. Uh, at the same time, we like uh, all the intangibles that this group brings. Um, they practiced hard. They brought energy. Um, they've been close. Uh, they like one another. And if those characteristics continue throughout the uh, heart of the season and the ups and downs and the successes and adversities, we're going to be really good. With that in mind, Yeah, instead of putting in offense, you're reviewing offense. Instead of putting in defense, you're, you're, you're uh, quick reviews. And then um, through the things you were able to experiment with, you're able to see what you want to uh, continue to keep in and what you don't want to. So uh, we were able to, uh, again, try some things that we haven't tried in years past because of the foreign tour and uh, because of a lot of new guys just see what they were good at and what – uh, what things might uh, put them in more successful uh, positions? Uh, in terms of outside of Giannis, obviously who we know is out for the year. Any other updates injury wise? Are you guys fully healthy coming into practice, or do you stand there? Uh, Jacoby broke his nose yesterday, but other than that, we're okay. Ooh, ouch. Uh, it may be way too early to ask this, but like, do you have an idea of what the idea would be of this team right here? Hmm. Um, Again, uh, until you really play games and the lights come on, you, you don't know for sure. And um, But so far, uh, it's a group that likes one another, really competes hard. And uh, um, if they if they continue to do that, then we'll be successful. Sorry, in terms of that, is that just for Jacoby, is he, is he just getting used to a mask? Or is that something that you guys are worried about and maybe – Oh no, he'll 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 get a stylish mask and uh, uh, look like an Avenger for a while, and 
Um, he's, he's, he's a tough kid. If it's up to him, he'd be practicing today. But uh, he'll be limited until that mask comes in. Well, Scott, obviously, his schedule came out, you know, the Big 12 schedule is put out. But, I mean, when you look at that, I mean, you know, half thoughts. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, yeah. it's the same team. Yeah, you, when it, whenever uh, the Big 12 schedule comes out, you're like, man, that's a tough schedule. But that's, again, what makes the Big 12 the Big 12. Um, the the thing that will be a little different is getting used to not playing everybody twice and uh, uh, when you play them. And uh, I know uh, uh, we're blessed because, again, um, when you're in the Big 12, there are no bad losses. But at the same time, there's no easy wins. So uh, you get the uh, – uh, the excitement of each and every game is going to be a battle, and uh, uh, you got to bring it if you want to have a chance to be successful. And then, obviously, with the non-conference, we've always tried to play uh, uh, a challenging non-conference schedule. Our players want to play that, and our fans want to see that. And uh, most of all, that gets us ready for what we're going to face in conference. Is it cool for those guys to be able to play in some NBA games? Oh, most definitely. Uh, um, Again, uh, uh, most of them since uh, uh, they began playing basketball aspire to be in the NBA. And when you have a chance to uh, play in an NBA venue, uh, uh, it's it's, it's uh, really neat. And it's great from uh, uh, a standpoint recruiting. Um, recruits want to know that you play in those kind of venues. Uh, as coaches, we're more excited about the competition in them and uh, great opportunities for us. Yeah. As ready to go as we possibly are. Well, and it, it definitely makes it uh, easier with uh, uh, practices and conditioning and whatever because uh, uh, everybody's excited for the season, but they know that first game you got to be ready to go. So um, Auburn's uh, a team, uh, Coach Pearl's done a tremendous job with them and uh, Final Four team and a team with a lot of success. So uh, it'll be a good test for both of us. Uh, again, uh, the NCAA doesn't uh, punish you for playing good opponents, uh, win or lose. So it makes it easier for us to schedule games like that. What excites you about being back out on the court with this team specifically? Uh, the excitement of uh, uh, so much newness. Uh, you got you got a lot of different uh, pieces out there and uh, a lot of potential. Uh, and as a coach, you're always excited about uh, uh, working with guys that uh, uh, you haven't had a chance with and just seeing how, how much you can uh, uh, improve them and help them. And uh, again, each and every year is a blessing uh, to be in uh, college sports. Uh, the excitement that goes into it, um, I, I know we have a, a lot of pride in what uh, our program has uh, been, been built on and uh, the culture joy and just continuing to uh, make that platform bigger each and every year. Coach, I guess these uh, next like you know five to six weeks before the season, is there any kind of maybe virtue or you know kind of I guess goals you're trying to accomplish in these practice before, hmm. especially you know a lot of new guys? Well, I think uh, goal number one is always uh, don't get anyone hurt. <laughs> uh, uh, goal number two, though, is uh, uh, you got to find out what you have, and that's through. Uh, uh, competing and when you compete um, you do run the risk of uh, injury and um, that that does affect you so you got to have depth um, but uh, when you have newer guys you got to do more five on five see who blends well together who plays well together meshes well together uh, find out your strengths and weaknesses so um, we're excited for that and then at, at the same time uh, uh, praying no no uh, extended injuries because when you do, then it makes it tougher to figure out rotations and lineups. Was it fun to have Keontae and that little moment on the field? The other day? Oh, it was, it was great having uh, Keontae, Adam Flagler, uh, Ish Wainwright, Jake Lindsey, um, uh, John Hurd was here with his uh, uh, fiance. So a lot of Baylor uh, uh, former players in the house, which was awesome. Yeah. Well, I think uh, it's easy to see why he's a successful player and a good leader. Because, like anybody, when when someone comes in, you want to uh, 
see what the lay of the land is and then gradually uh, establish yourself as a leader. And he's done that. I mean, he's done a great job in uh, listening and learning from the returning players and the older players we already have in our program and at the same time offer his insight, leadership, and wisdom and knowledge. So uh, he's somebody uh, uh, everybody really likes and really gravitates to. Um, he got an old soul, got an old man game, um, but everyone loves playing with him because he really uh, uh, can pass the ball and uh, it's fun being on his team. Mm-hmm. Such an incredible comeback. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think uh, each and every day he's still uh, uh, trying to improve himself athletically. Um, he, coming in about 20 pounds lighter has made him uh, uh, a lot more effective. He's, he's, he's shooting it well, passing it well, and uh, somebody that uh, uh, has adjusted how he works out because uh, he used to work out three, four times a day. Now, hopefully he's cut it back to one or two times extra a day uh, just to make sure his body's not getting worn down. But uh, uh, he's he's a delight to have in practice every day. He doesn't. That's why he's called every day John, never has a bad day. With a guy like Miro, uh, how much can you see a difference between him and maybe your average freshman based on how much senior experience he's had? Yeah. Well, it, it definitely just coming off uh, the World Cup, uh, a lot of confidence. Um, he, he not only played against a lot of NBA players and pro players, but uh, uh, had success. So uh, uh, he's somebody that he doesn't play like a freshman from the standpoint. Uh, he talks like an upperclassman, uh, competes like an upperclassman, carries himself like an upperclassman. And we're really blessed because with the freshman class, we have a lot of that um, Jacoby, Eve, um, both of them are, uh, along with Miro, are, are uh, experienced players from the standpoint. Uh, they've been to a lot of all-star games. They've been to uh, um, a lot of different uh, uh, prep environments and, and things that have given them competition that maybe a normal high school player uh, um, doesn't receive or have opportunities to get. It uh, could be. Uh, as you know, um, you got to see how everyone finishes out, but uh, definitely we put it together. I think last year we had the third overall toughest schedule, so uh, we're accustomed to playing good schedules, and I know our fans like that and our players like that.